Hey yarn friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. So today I wanted to give you a little um, peep at how I did my center for my continuous rectangle granny blanket. I had several people to ask how I made that centerpiece. And I know a lot of people are loom knitters and they may be interested in learning a little bit of crochet. So I just wanted to um, show that. But first I'm going to talk about chaining and then um, double crochets because that's what this project uses and then I will show how I made that centerpiece so um, here's my yarn it's a number four yarn I'm using this number six hook um, it's a larger hook that's recommended for this yarn but I want my blanket to be uh, very loose and drapey and everything so first I'm going to make a slip knot and there's lots of ways to make a slip knot, whatever's comfortable for you. All right, and then um, let's talk about chaining. So when I chain, I hold this knot right here a little bit out so I can chain a loose chain. So you just yarn over and pull through. And if you're new to crocheting and trying to chain, um, you might want to just practice and do that several times. Uh, when I first started, my chain would twist every which way, and I could not keep a straight chain. But um, you do want to run your yarn up your shaft, because this makes the... Um, I'm using a J-hook, so this is the size of the J-hook. It's not right here, it's all the way up here. So again, I just pull this, and I'm going to just pull my the hook through. Yarn over, pull the hook through. And I'm holding, pinching this so that my chain is not tight, that it's loose. And until I got really comfortable chaining for projects, sometimes I would use even a bigger hook for chaining. And then I, when, once I got my chain done, I would switch back down to whatever size hook I was going to actually do my project with. And that worked well for me until I got a better hang of chaining. So this is your chain. Okay, so a lot of patterns will say to double crochet in like the second I mean, if it's single crochet, it'll say from probably from the second chain from the hook. Um, for double crochet, and it may say to double crochet in the fourth chain. So the way you count your chains is you don't count this on the hook. You're going to start counting this one right here. So one, two, three, four. This would be a fourth one way up here. So I would yarn over. One, two, three, four. That would be the fourth space. I'm going to have my yarn over the hook and I poke through that chain, grab that yarn and pull it through. So now I have these three loops on the hook. Now I yarn over again and I pull through two of the loops yarn over and pull through two loops that is a double crochet and for this project you double crochet into this same stitch that first chain where we skipped those three chains and we went into the fourth those three count as one double crochet for this project and then we did a double crochet so we need to do another double crochet so we yarn over I'm going to go into that same stitch, so I just poke the hook through, grab the yarn, pull it through like this, yarn over, and I pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more loops. That is a double crochet. So I'm just going to show you a couple of double crochets here, not in particularly making anything, just doing double crochets. So you're like this. You yarn over, that means you bring your yarn towards you over the top of the hook here. Hold that, then just poke through your chain that you need to go through, 
and again you're going to yarn over pull that through the chain space yarn over come through two loops yarn over come through two loops that is double crochet and I'll just do a couple more just to um, show you I've already yarned over and I'm going to poke through a chain space yarn over pull that yarn through yarn over and you can see how I'm pinching right here a little bit and then pull that yarn through two chain two loops yarn over and pull through two more loops and then that's that's double crochet okay so now I want to show you how I make the centerpiece for the granny rectangle blanket and so that's what you need to know it's chaining and double crochet that's all you need to know to make that blanket so if you can do this you can do this crochet project all right so here we go okay so I'm going to show you how I made the centerpiece of my rectangle granny blanket so I'm just using a four waisted yarn actually I'm using a, a mainstay so number four yarn and I'm using a number six hook you can use anything from you know a five five and a half six whatever whatever you're comfortable with I am using this particular hook because I want my this particular blanket I want to be um real drapey and just um you know soft and not still for anything like that so that's why i'm going with this okay so make your slip knot ever how you're used to making a slip knot all right and i'm going to chain 24. Ten, twenty one. Okay, so I have twenty four, and I am going to double crochet in the I'm going to skip three chains and go into the four. So I'm skipping one, two, three. And I'm going to this fourth one right here. And I'm going to do a double crochet. And this counts as number two double crochet because this chain counts as one, two. And so I'm going to put one more double crochet into that same stitch. So there's three double crochets there. And then for this corner, no, we're not going to do this always, but for this particular spot right here, I'm going to chain two because this is working on <coughs> the corner piece of the rectangle. So um, looking down here at my chains, there's where I did those st three stitches. I'm going to the very next one and do three double crochets. Two, and then one more, and we have three double crochets. <clears throat> okay, so it kind of looks like nothing right now, but that's okay. It'll shape up in a minute. So I'm going to stretch this out, making sure it's not twisting or anything like that. I'm not going to chain. I'm going to skip two chains down here one two and go into the third stitch and do three double crochets okay 
that's what I've got so far. <clears throat> and I'm not going to chain in between these clusters on this part. And I'm going to go one, two, three. So I'm going to go into number three. And do three double crochets. And three. So it's kind of looking like this. If you stretch it out, this is my end piece. And I have three clusters going down the side so far. Okay, now I'm going to go one, two, three into that third chain down. And do three double crochets. All right, so now I'm going to make sure this isn't twisting on me here. All right, so one, two, three I'm going to the third one and do three double crochets I'm just going to lay it out and stretch so we can see what we have here. All right. <clears throat> Again, I'm not going to chain. I'm going to count three. One, two, three, and go into the third one. And do three double crochets again. Just one. Two and three. All right. Now we're almost to the end here. Let's see. One, two, three, and then we have another stitch left over. So just leave that stitch. I mean, that's what you want is to have that stitch left over. So just do your three double crochets into this one. Okay, so now we're going to be working on the end piece like we did down here. So we want to do two double I mean two chains. Stretch your piece out, and that very next stitch, the one we have left over, go into it and do three double crochets. So that was chain two and then three double crochets. Okay, so we have three double crochets, and you can see it's kind of turning now. We want to do two chains and then we're going to come up this side right here just on the back side of where we just worked um, you can see this cluster of right here and there's a space right here so we're going to go into that space here's where we just did the last three and then we chain two now we're going to go into this space opposite of those clusters that we did on the other side and we're going to chain three okay and we're not going to we're not going to chain we're going to look down here and see this cluster of three and we're going to go into this space right here at the base of that 
and do three double crochets. Okay, so I have three double crochets in there. Now I'm just going to go down the line and look for the next cluster, which is right here. And there's a little space at the base of that cluster. And I'm going to go into that space there and do three double crochets. Alright, so I'm going to go to the next cluster. You can see that space right here really well. So I'm going to do three double crochets into that. Alright, and now the next cluster same thing go into that space at the base of it and do three double crochets all right now we have two more clusters to go so this one right here do three double crochets One more. Okay, and then we have one more cluster right here. We're going to go into that space. <clears throat> and do three double crochets. two, one more, okay, and so we are back at this end right here, we did two, two chains right here, we did all our clusters, and then we did two chains, a cluster, two chains, clustered all the way back down, so now we need to do two chains and join right here. So one, two, and then we're going to join into the top of that um, chain that we had before. Just go through there and slip stitch. All right, and so that is the centerpiece. And if you want your centerpiece to be one color, you would go ahead and snip your yarn and tie off. And then you can weave your ends in. And I'll just go ahead and show you how I weave these ends in. And I'm going to run it up under this and I always check to make sure my yarn my needle is not on the other side and it is I could feel that it was so uh, I'm gonna redo that and then check make sure you can't see my yellow needle because that would mean my yarn would be on that side and I'm going to um, skip that first one because that's where I came out from and go in right here And then I'm going to skip this first one and go in. And you can just do this a few times back and forth to weave that end in and then snip that off. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. Again, make sure you can't see your needle on the other side.
All right, so that is the centerpiece that I use for my rectangle blankets. Okay, so I wanted to show you how I start round two. I'm going to take my yarn and just fold it over, leaving a little bit of a tail enough to weave in later. And I'm going to come down here to a chain two space. I'm going to start right here on this one. This chain two, and I'm going to just take my yarn. You see I'm on my working yarn on this side and my tail on that side. And I just pull through. I take the working yarn and chain one, two, three. Three chains. And then I take the working yarn. I can drop the tail now. But I kind of hold it a little bit back here. And then I just go through that chain two space and I do um, double crochet that counts as two because that chain counted as one so two three now I'm going to chain two because it's on a corner and then I will do three more double crochets Okay, so I have three double crochets, the chain counted as one, a chain two, and then three double crochets. Now, on my, s <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, on this um, centerpiece, I did not chain between these clusters, but from now on, I will chain between my clusters. I will chain one between each cluster. And then on the corners, I chain two. So I'm going to chain one. And then I'm just going to go right here in the center between these two clusters. Just go in this space. So you're not really going in a stitch. You just go in that space. And chain three. I mean, not chain three, three double crochets, and then I chain one, go in between the next space, and three double crochets. Chain one. three double crochets chain one three double crochets, chain one, we have one, two, th um, two more spaces to go here where we, on the side, chain one, and then this is the last space on the side. So I'm just going to go in that space there. I love working on a granny square blanket. It's so relaxing to me. It's something I can just sit and watch movies or talk to friends or whatever. And it's just relaxing to do this repetition of double crochets. Okay, so now we chained one, and so now we're at this corner space where we chain two, and so in here we're going to do 
three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, all in the same space. Oh, I didn't do my, I didn't yarn over. It's one. Two. Three. To chain two. And then in the same space, do the three double crochets. So now we're right here on the end. On our corner, we did three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. We're going to chain one because we're on the end there. And then we're going to go into this chain two space, double crochet. Three double crochets into there. And then we're going to chain two and then three double crochets in that same space we're kind of turning the corner there that's number two so one more into that space okay and then chain one so that's what we have so far and now we're just going to keep coming up this side and we're going to do three clusters chain one three clusters chain one three clusters chain one three clusters all the way down and then when we get to this corner space we're going to do the same thing we did here three double crochets chain two three double crochets okay so i'm going to meet you back when we get right down here i think you got it now Okay, I've made it back down to the end. I did my three double crochet, I mean, you know, my three double crochets with a cluster in between each, and I made it to the end. I did, on my corner, I did three double crochets, I chained two, and then I'm going to do three more double crochets in that same hole. And then I'm going to do one chain and join to this cluster from the other corner. All right, and then I'm just going to snip my yarn off, tie it off right here, and then I'll be ready to weave those ends in. And so when I do my next round, um, um, we'll just pick a space. It doesn't matter if you pick this corner, this corner this corner or this corner just pick a corner i usually don't pick the same corner every time um just because it's going to be a little build up right here of weaving my ends in so i'll probably just pick this corner or something like that and then i'll do the same thing to add my next color in so this is how i'm doing the chain um the center of my blanket and this particular one is going to be a Christmas blanket it's going to be kind of scrappy I'm not going to go in any kind of rent order it's going to be more random um, of my colors like I'm not going to go red green white red green white I'm, I'm not going to do that I'm going to mix them up more but anyway that is the center of my rectangle granny blanket